What's something your employer did that instantly killed morale? I work in a big corporate building. The same older lady came by everyone's desk towards the end of the day to collect the trash. Just the sweetest lady ever and every time she'd walk to my desk she'd give me a big smile and ask me how my day was and chat for a minute as she got my trash. Usually I'd dump it in for her. I had some rough days but she has a way to cheer me up and send me home on a higher note. I know I'm not the only one either. So then a few weeks back our work implemented a new policy to cut down on trash usage. It's no longer allowed to have a trash bin at our desk and we have to walk across the room and use the community trash to throw anything away. Not a huge deal but the real reason they did it is so they can cut down on cost. I.e. the cleaning crew. Sad to say that I haven't seen Sharon since. They discontinued profit sharing bonuses because some employees that didn't work enough to qualify and weren't eligible to receive a bonus complained that it wasn't fair. So to be fair to everyone, the company kept all the profits. It forbid us from talking. A labor crew on some rich guy's estate. Everything ran great until he hired a new manager who proceeded to straight up act like a slave. Master. Ordering us to do projects and then would go sit in the shade and play on his phone only to stop. And yell at us. We all came together one morning to discuss our concerns with the rich guy and he just tears into. Us saying. Fuck you guys. I will fire all of you and have a new crew tomorrow. Totally killed any moral any of us had. I used to work at a hotel as housekeeper. One day a vacuum started sparking and smoked. Instead of replacing it the employers just wrapped some tape around the cord. None of us housekeepers wanted to work there anymore after that happened. Because the employers never replaced anything. If they did then they went for the cheapest shit that broke right away. And we were not allowed to have breaks. They just wanted us to leave really quickly so they don't have to pay us more hours. Also called on scheduled days off if we can come into work. And then made us feel guilty if we didn't. On a recent call about an employee survey. Said to the effect, we see many of you commented about compensation. But we're going to focus on engagement and sense of belonging. It's bad enough to ignore the compensation problem. But to outright say they're ignoring it. Sense of belonging, doesn't pay rent. Asked me to marry his niece so she could get her green card. One summer it was really hot and I worked as a delivery driver for Domino's during the day. This was in the Netherlands so we use mopeds and e-bikes. The moped had broken down so I was forced to use a bike. Not only did the manager not provide any cooling to my co-worker and myself in the shop with temperatures at around 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. I had to wear my completely black uniform including long black dress pants under the blazing sun while doing deliveries. We were so upset, hot and utterly exhausted from the heat. I ended up calling my mum to ask if she could bring a fan and in between deliveries we would just sit in the back room with the fan on and do nothing. It actually took one of our drivers passing out from the heat. As well as one of the cooks. Before management let us wear shorts. As long as they were black. Lunch is normally 12 to 12.30 and is dictated by bells. Bell starts your lunch. Bell ends your lunch. I arrive at my desk at 12.26 with a personal deep dish pizza from Little Caesars fully intact and my boss yells at me for that. A few weeks later, when he's with a client, he doesn't leave for lunch until after 12.30 and doesn't come back until 2. Total hypocrite. Layoffs to improve share prices told me if I don't come in to do this job on my day off don't bother coming to work anymore.
I had told him days in advance and reminded him daily that I was taking Sunday off to go visit my great-grandma as she has not long left. I went and did it anyways because it wasn't far and I need a job still. But yeah all my moral in the company is gone now and I'm looking for a new job. It's not like I don't do after hours. I take 80% of the after hour jobs he was just being pissy because he wanted to do shit. So fuck this company. They changed the way we do annual reviews. Instead of allowing me to give the raises to my direct reports based on their actual performance. HR stepped in and made all the decisions based on random gossip. Instead of actual feedback through official channels. My opinion as their manager meant nothing compared to anonymous rumor. I quit shortly after that and told my team to get their resumes up to date. Within a year of me leaving. They saw how bad things were getting and left too. I still keep in contact with them. And I'm glad they all moved on to better opportunities. If you are ever working for a company and hear that they are being bought, acquired by an investment firm, start applying elsewhere. If you stay, just know that you are working for demons who would sooner squeeze every last drop of blood out of you than lose a single penny. I've been through it twice now. Never again. Fire a 58-year-old man who was one of the most hard-working willing people I ever met at the end of his probation under the pretense that he had not become too the level of the middle-aged lady who was considered the queen of the dishwashing area. Nobody believed this to be the real reason. Meanwhile, that poor guy put in all this work for nothing and was back to unemployment to feed himself and his ailing wife. It was the final straw for me.